Jalen searches off for the forest. Tom plays a tap for rootbound crag. Extra plays an overgrown tomb, paying to life, and casts Birds of Paradise. While Sam plays a tap sundown pass before the game begins in earnest. John plays a planes and casts a the shell crawler, putting a 1-1 counter on itself when it ETBs. John passes. Tom plays a planes and casts Wall of Blossoms, drawing as it enters. He passes to Extra. Extra plays a Morphic Pool, then casts City of Death, putting a lure counter on it and making a treasure before passing to Sam. Sam plays a Great Furnace for turn, then casts Clay Fired Bricks, searching for a planes to put into his hand before passing it back to John. John plays a Forest and casts Champion of Lamphold, then attacks Extra with his Dust Shell Crawler. Extra takes it, and the turn moves to top. Tom plays another planes, then casts Flicker Wisp, exiling his Wall of Blossoms until the end of his turn. He moves to Zen Step, and the wall returns, letting Tom draw another card. After Extra's draw step, City of Death gets a lure counter, and Extra makes a token copy of his treasure. He casts Psychotrope Thalid, plays a top choked Extuary, then passes. Sam plays a Storm Carved Ghost, then casts his commander, Tetsin, Gnome Champion. Sam mills 3 to TTB and returns Power Depot from among the milled cards into his hand. Sam passes. John plays a forest for turn, then casts his own command, Sovereign Okinika Howl, triggering Champion of Blamhold, who gets a 1-1 counter. John swings both the Champion and the Shell Crawler at Extra, then passes to Tom. Tom plays the Canopy Vista for turn, he casts a Soul Ring, he then casts his commander, Puntlaza, Sun Favored. Tom's commander enters, and Tom discovers four. He flips a Semester's End, which he chooses to cast, flickering all of his creatures. Tom passes, and on his end step, his creatures return, and Tom draws a card to Wall of Blossoms, discovers an Eternal Witness with Puntlaza, using it to return Semester's End to his hand then re-exiles Padlaza with his flicker with CTB, the turn then moves to Extra. On Extra's upkeep, Psychotroph Nalid gets a Spore Counter. After his draw step, City of Death triggers, and Extra copies his treasure again. In his main phase, Extra casts his commander, Xavier Saul, Infested Captain. He also casts Winding Constrictor before passing. On his end step, Padlaza comes back, and Tom gets to discover a Farsi which he casts to get a stomping round onto the field tap. Sam then takes his turn. Sam plays a Sunbird Standard, triggering Tetsin and milling 3, then putting Foundry and Spectre from among them into his hand. He plays a tapped Power Depot for turn, then passes. John plays a Plains, then casts Rishkar, Pima Renegade. Rishkar enters, putting a 1-1 counter on himself and on a Howl, and Champion triggers giving himself a counter as well. He casts Branching Evolutions, doubling his counter gains. He then moves to combat, swinging at Tom with a How and Champion of Blampold, which triggers a How, and John gets to add double the counters on each of his creatures. Tom declares no blocks, then John passes the turn. Tom plays a Bountiful Promenade for turn, then casts Witty Roastmaster. He then recasts Semester's End, targeting all of his creatures. But Sam responds with a timely sword to plowshares targeting Puntlaza. Tom's commander bites the dust, and Tom gains 4 blood. Then all of Tom's creatures are exiled. On Tom's end step, they come back, each with a 1-1 counter. Tom draws a card to Wall of Blossoms, flickers his soul ring with Flicker Wisp, returns Semester's end to his hand with Ewit, and deals 3 damage to each of his opponents, thanks to Witty Roastmaster seeing all the other creatures re-enter the field. The turn then moves to Extra. On Extra's upkeep, Psychotrope Thalid gets a Spore Counter. After his draw step, City of Death triggers, and Extra copies his treasure once again. In his main phase, he casts a Spore Sower Thalid and the original Thalid. He then passes to Sam. Sam plays a place 
and casts his Boundary Inspector. With nothing else, he moves it to John. John plays a Command Tower for turn, then casts Miscutter Hydra for X equals 5. It enters with 10 1 1 counters thanks to Branching Evolutions. And Champion of Lampfold also puts two 1 1 counters on itself. He moves to combat, and Sam responds by flashing in Lodestone Needle, paying an additional 2 for the ward cost in order to tap a Howl and put two stun counters on him. Lodestone Needle entering also triggers Tetsin, and Sam mills 3 and returns 1000 moves Smitty to his hand. John then moves to attackers, swinging everything at Tom to pressure him as much as possible, but in response, Tom casts Swords to Plowshares, exiling Champion of Lamphole. He also blocks the Shell Crawler with his Wall of Blossoms. With nothing else, John then passes to Tom. Tom plays the Plains and casts PNLR, Console of Revival, dealing one to each opponent with Witty Roastmaster. He recasts Panvaza, dealing one to his opponents again, then flipping a panharmonicon of all things and painting a big red target on his back. This triggers Pia, who makes a 1-1 Thopter, which lets Witty Roastmaster deal one to each opponent. Tom then passes, and on his end step, Extra forgets he can only activate Xavier's Saul at sorcery speed, and removes a lore counter from City of Death to make a treasure token. Extra then moves to his turn. On Extra's upkeep, each of his Thalids gets a Spore counter. After his draw step, he makes another treasure with City of Death. He casts Icar Moon Gauntlet, followed by Tyvar, Jubilant Brawler. This triggers Icar Moon, putting a lower counter on City of Death and letting Extra make another treasure. Extra then activates Tyvar's Icar Moon ability, letting him proliferate all his counters. He chooses to make another treasure that is City of Death trigger. He then activates Xavier's Stall removing the lore counter from City of Death to populate, making another treasure. Extra then passes. Sam plays his Thousand Moves Smithy, triggering Tetsin and returning Fabrication Foundry to his hand. Smithy also triggers on ETB, making a gnome with power equal to the number of artifacts and creatures on Sam's board. Sam then casts the Fabrication Foundry he just got, followed by a treasure map, triggering Tetsin and putting a Market Gnome into his hand. Sam passes. John plays a planes for turn, then goes directly to combat, swing Miss Ketter Hydra, the Shell Crawler, and Rishkar directly at Tom. Tom blocks Rishkar with Pia and Roast Master, and the Mist Cutter with his Wall and Thopter. In response, Tom destroys the Roast Master with Soroka of Midnight, and Sam chips in by killing Wall Blossoms with rapid hybridization. Tom makes a 1 1 human and a 3 3 frog lizard. Then combat damage resolves, and John passes the turn. On his turn, Tom plays a Restoration Angel, flickering his Flicker Wisp and Penthlaza. Both re-enter, and Penthlaza discovers Garruk's Uprising, letting Tom draw two. Flicker's ETB then resolves, exiling Soul Ring and Restoration Angel until end of turn. Tom plays a Carplusion Forest for turn, he then passes, getting Soul Ring and Restoration Angel back. Blinking Penthlaza and Flicker Wisp again. Once Penthlaza re enters, Garuk triggers twice again. Then Penthlaza's ETB goes on the stack. Tom discovers Charming Prince, choosing to scry two twice. With the draw still on the stack, he casts Aerial Maneuver, targeting Restoration Angel, blinking Penthlaza and Eternal Witness. Penthlaza re entering triggers Garuk's two more times. Then Tom discovers Impact Trevors thanks to Pantlaza. The top two Garuk draw triggers then resolve, then Restoration Angel's Flicker on Ewith resolves, letting Tom return Swords to Plowshares and Flicker of Faith into his hand, while doing two damage to his opponents with Impact Trevors. The last two Garuk draws then resolve, then still holding priority, Tom casts Flicker of Faith on Restoration Angel, triggering Impact Tremors twice, and flickering Charming Prince and Panthlaza. He chooses to scry two twice with the Prince's ETB again, also triggering Impact Tremors twice once more. Panthlaza then discovers Prosperous Innkeeper, which enters making two treasures. The Innkeeper and Panthlaza entering also triggers Impact Tremors four more times, as well as Garuk's Uprising twice. 
Tom, deciding enough still isn't enough, then scroll shifts Restoration Angel, Flickering Ewit and Innkeeper, presenting a loop where he uses Ewit to return Flicker of Fate to his hand, makes two treasures with Innkeeper entering, then recasts Flicker of Fate on Restoration Angel, and doing it all over again until all of his opponents die to hit back Tremors, and Tom clinches the win.